Robin, one time I offended her with something that I said. She came over to my house. We talked about it for a while. And I thought we were fine after that. And then I heard later about it again and again and again. And I'm like, I thought we were fine. I thought we talked about it and it was over. So what was the thing? It's just so stupid. It's this stupid personality test. And her personality type, her personality type loves drama. They love drama. They love talking about their drama so other people can feel how they feel. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, December 11th, 2023. Last night was the third part of the Sister Wives Tell All, and it was all about Christine and Mary, along with their counterpart, Janelle, dissecting and talking about relationships and their place with Robin. And I'm kind of understanding now why it's a four-part episode, like four-part tell-all, because the first episode was heavily focused on Janelle, the second was heavily focused on Mary. This one was heavily focused on Robin. And the final episode will be focused mostly on Christine. This episode had included dynamics about Cody and Robin's relationship. It also included dynamics within the sister wives relationships and new insight into what happened with the text threads. Remember the family text thread that happened? And just Mary kind of outing Robin about the catfishing situation. So there's been a lot of years where fans have suspected that Robin was more involved in the catfish situation than had been previously led on. And now it seems like Robin inserted herself with a friend into the situation. And through this friend, they were indirect, they were speaking directly to the catfish to have information provided to them. And while Robin wasn't speaking to the catfish, her friend Kendra was. They didn't say Kendra's name on the show, but it was Kendra. That's been documented widely in the media. Mary was revealing Kendra's role, and there was some disagreements between Mary and Robin about why this all played, played out. And I think you get a feeling that the th four of them never gelled with Robin, <laughs> or the three of them never gelled with Robin. Mary and, and Robin seem to gel, but it, it, it's very clear that Christine and Janelle never gelled with Robin. A lot of it had to do with Robin's behavior. Some of it had to do with Cody's behavior. And then the elephant in the room is sharing a man. It's hard to be friends with a romantic rival. So let's dive into the topic. Before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and make sure to click on the bell so you never miss a video. So in the very beginning of this video, you saw me show a clip from the tell-all where Christine talks about this personality test that she and the sister wives all did together and a conversation about the personality types led to some sort of upset feelings by Robin because she didn't like the information provided about her personality type. The interesting thing is that Christine talks about the, the, taking this test. Mary remembers taking it. Janelle remembers taking it. Christine remembers taking it. And Robin mysteriously remembers none of it and doesn't remember taking the test, but then does remember taking the test, but then later uses what Christine said to her a being dramatic when she got mad. So clearly Robin was lying and we never know why Robin's lying. It's probably because she's obsessed maybe with what the public thinks of her, or maybe she's just so used to lying, it's just what she does. I don't know. Mary says that the test was like unremarkable, but she said that um, she kind of agreed with it. And some of my followers had messaged me and they believe that they were taking the Enneagram based on what, Chris, what Mary was talking about, like being a B or a three or something like that. And I don't know. And Janelle said that she, agreed for the most part with her personality type, but apparently Robin doesn't remember this or doesn't remember getting upset with Christine about this, even though clearly it sounds like this was a problem in the relationship. I never took it, but I remember it, yeah. You never took it? I never did. <laughs> Some of us did, and I just never, I don't remember taking it. I never filled it's out okay. questionnaires. So if somebody was coming up with my 
personality type, they were taking the test for me and making the choices for me and going, oh, well, I think this is who you are. And that was when, you know, and if that's somebody doing that, that means it, like Christine didn't know me well. She didn't take the time to know me very well. I don't know anything about the personality test because this was a whole segment that wasn't on the show. And obviously there's situations that have happened in this family that have never made it to TV. And it's amazing to me in the span of a couple minutes, Robin goes from not remembering anything about it, not, well, remembering about the personality test, but then not remembering that there was any drama between her and Christine, then not taking the test to then saying Christine took the test for her to saying maybe she did take the test, which is it? But it, and, and Suki's face was sort of like blown away that Robin said she didn't take it because it sounded like they all took it at the same time. But now Robin is saying that Christine filled it out for her and answered questions for her. And that because of that, it gave a personality test that wasn't really her and that Christine didn't take the time to get to know her. I don't know what happened, but what I do know is that Robin clearly was not remembering conveniently or else feigning ignorance like she seems to do when there's any level of di direction for her to have to explain her own behavior. It wouldn't have been, I think fans struggle to connect with Robin because a an issue will be presented. Like Robin and I had this disagreement about this and Robin will say that never happened or we didn't have a disagreement. This is what happened. So she's she always, she will fight them on semantics a lot, and which feels kind of gaslighty. Like, no, we weren't fighting about a personality test. That never happened. You don't know what you're talking about, right? She would just say, yes, we had this disagreement about a personality test. Yes, it was so stupid. I don't know. We were just fighting about it. But she doesn't do that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, it's not that hard to admit your faults. But what do I know? But this brings up a larger, deeper conversation about their lack of trust with Robin and results in Mary and Christine talking about not wanting to have a relationship with them, with, with Robin. And Mary's point of view of Robin comes down to something that happened with the catfishing situation and Robin's friend inserting themselves into the situation and thus making the situation worse for Mary, which a lot of fans have speculated has been part of the issue in the catfishing situation. It's the first time Mary has addressed it publicly. During the catfishing situation, there was a friend of Robin's at the time that kind of inserted herself, um, meaning the person who catfished crazy you. person, yeah. this psycho. This friend of Robin's who was feeding her information and maybe making her and Cody believe that I was off having an affair. And then Robin would talk to me and I'm like, Robin, I've never met this person. I don't know what you're talking about. So I pulled way back. And so it, it kind of caused a lack of trust between me and Robin. Interesting. But aspect of all of this is that Christine said, according to this personality test, Robin likes to talk with people about trauma, connect with people about drama, share her drama so that she can get other people to feel like her and then equally get other people to talk about their drama so she can feel with them. So in this case, it, it seems like in a way she's inserting herself into drama and inserting herself into a situation which ultimately makes everything worse for Mary. Because if you remember, Kendra during this period was going to tabloids, telling tabloids that m this person was real and that Mary was having a physical affair and Sam was not fake, even though Sam was fake. And Kendra is feeding this information to Cody and Robin, but Kendra isn't gonna get involved in this unless Robin wants her to. Why else is Kendra getting involved in a catfish? And why is Robin listening to someone tell her about what's Mary doing, what Mary's doing? And why is Robin concerned about what Mary's doing other than to provide information to Cody? And this could be because she's concerned that Mary's leaving and women get territorial and, and they don't want women to leave and she could be doing this for Cody. 
to basically be a spy for Cody. She could be doing this for favor for Cody. She could be doing this to get information for Cody because again, information is power in this culture and women do a lot of maladaptive behaviors in order to win favor. It could be to paint Mary in a negative light, although Mary and Cody's relationship at this point was already super fractured. It's all bizarre to me whether Robin orchestrated it or Cody or orchestrated it, Kendra gets involved and this creates distrust with Mary because Mary says the entire situation makes her not trust Robin anymore and makes Cody believe that she had a physical affair that never happened. But Robin's the one that sends Kendra in. So Robin's explanation is even more bizarre. Uh, there was somebody that was trying to convince me that there was something going on and I finally just said to this person, I don't believe you unless you've got proof. I don't want you to talk about it with me anymore. No, because our relationship, there wasn't a problem in our relationship in my head. Mm -hmm. My understanding was because she was in this weird, awkward place and she felt scared to talk to anybody. Not because of something I was doing. I told her anything and everything that I was being told because I wanted her to understand what was happening. Robin's explanation doesn't track at all with what Mary said because Mary said that Kendra was telling Cody and Robin that a physical affair was happening and Kendra was making them believe through her conversations with the catfish that Mary was going to leave Cody and Robin and Cody would not have had that information if not for Kendra and obviously because Mary found found out that Robin's inserting her friend into the situation and then that friend is feeding information to them, it makes her feel like she can't trust Robin anymore. I mean, and it also made her situation worse because the whole tabloid fodder of still, is Sam real? Is he not? Kendra said he's real. Kendra says he's not. You know, Sam is not real. So I was having a conversation with someone that's from polygamy, actually one of Christine Brown's cousins recently, and I just wanted a better understanding about why lying would happen so much in a situation like this. Like why would Robin insert herself into these dramas? Why would she lie to save face? Why does she lie about stupid things? Why does she lie about her involvement? Why does she deny her accountability? The cousin gave me a really good understanding and this cousin was a plural wife. And they said, I really think Robin does not wanna be seen as someone who would be anything less than she wants people to see her. If she doesn't appear humble and accepting, then it will reflect bad on her, especially if that is how Cody sees her. As far as spying, I think she does it to gain info to stay the top wife. If she can make another wife look bad, then her faults are less likely to be looked at. I frankly think it's all about survival. She may look like she has it all, but it's going to be a fight to keep it all. If she remains helpful to Cody, then her place remains secure. And if she is seen as someone who is doing everything she can for the family, then she stays more secure in that place. Yes, she could completely lie to keep her place. So lying is a strategy used by some wives because it helps them keep their place and secure as the top wife. And Robin had just become top wife, doesn't want to lose top wife. And so she's willing to lie, not only to save face. So she looks to Cody like she's this humble person and flawless and other people she believes will see her that way if she acts that way. So it's really a lot of acting and playing a part to stay fit because if you're relegated to the bottom, if you're not a top wife, you don't get resources, you don't get money, you don't get fed, you don't, your kids go without, they don't have a dad around. And so if you want your, the dad around or if you want the money, you want the resources and remember Robin has a shopping addiction, she is playing this game for Cody. It's a strategy that this woman says is common in this society. She said, if you don't play the game, you end up at the bottom really quick. So Robin's playing a game here where she's trying to look flawless and perfect so she seems useful still to Cody and so that her appearance publicly is one of, I'm never of fault, I'm so humble, I'm so hum." You know, I'm doing all of these things for the family, which is things that she says, and it's creating chaos for those around her. But this is a top wife strategy. It's sad, really. Something else that came up had to do with the text exchange, which got even stranger. And Robin, again, creating drama and getting fed information, which again, helps her be top wife. This isn't me just being dramatic. 
Thank you, Christine. Oh, so ho horrible to have her say that. What had happened was I was being told that the kids hated me or that, that I was being told that the kids hate me and my kids. Who was telling you that? A person. I was just being told this. And so when I was trying really hard, us on a video call, and when I started getting kicked back, I just went, why am I trying here? So Robin, again, is getting information from a person a person, like someone spying for her about people and then using that information without talking to anyone about it and assuming this information is correct. Either that person that she's getting information from is Cody or McKelty. That, those are the only two people she talks to in the family. She doesn't talk to any of the other kids. So it's Cody or McKelty. And if McKelty is giving her that information, McKelty is giving her that information to win favor with Robin because, be, because McKelty wants to have a good relationship with Robin and then she probably feels that doing that for Robin will make her win favor with her dad. If Cody's doing it, he's doing it to pit Robin and the kids against the other wives, which I would certainly believe to be true. Either way, she's claiming that everyone hates her and so when they don't agree to the video chat, she just views this as more evidence that they hate her. So she's jumping to a very big conclusion, but this will help her be separate and make them look bad and her look like the victim. Again, Janelle actually said that Robin made some pretty wild accusations after. It blew up into this whole thing about, well, you've always treated us so badly. I'm so tired of uh, working on this and I've always been treated so badly. And we were like, wow. Wow, just wow. Robin was like, you guys have treated me so badly. I'm so tired. I don't want to work on this anymore. And then all of a sudden, our kids started piling in with these really things like, you treated us so horribly. We're never going to want to have our own families because this was such a horrible experience. And I'm like, whoa. Appearing like the victim is going to help Co Robin in the long run win favor with Cody because he's going to view that as everyone's attacking her and she's the damsel in distress that needs help to be saved. And she is this perfect, humble loving person that has her cap in hand, like he says. So if she views them not obeying or complying with a request, which she's asking them to go on a video chat and they say, we can't. And Janelle says it's nine o'clock that time and they're on the East coast and it's too late. And that turns into Robin spiraling and using that as ammunition to further prove to herself and to Cody that everyone hates her from the information that she's been given by whoever, a person. And then the kids chime in, likely fueled by their mother, who is again getting information from someone, whether it's Cody or McKelty, that everyone hates them. And so then they say the whole experience has been terrible. And because it's been terrible, they don't want to have families of their own. The innocent victims in this are Robin's kids, because truly, I've never heard a lot of the kids say negative things about them. I hear Gwendolyn talk a lot about how she misses Aurora. There have been conversations with some of the boys about missing Dayton. I don't get where everyone, and I know Isabel loves Brianna and Aurora as well, so I don't get this idea that everyone hates them. But the blending of the families becomes a topic. And again, Robin can use this to look like a victim to Cody to help her make everyone else look bad for not accepting her and making her kids life hell, which then makes her the top wife. Again, it's all a game for her to earn favor so that she appears like the best one of the group. And it's manipulative and it's conniving. And I think the other wives just got tired of the games. They started trying to express themselves and the other kids started mocking them and dismissing them. And it made them feel very ganged up on. My kids came to me and they said, we don't feel emotionally safe to be a part of this. After that, Robin just said, Dad and I have decided we're not, our kids aren't going to do the gift exchange anymore and we're not going to do it. And they were devastated. Ultimately, were... what this text exchange revealed were unresolved issues that happened in the family from very early on when the two families united and were mixing and joining together as a family. Robin's kids feel like they were ganged up on and told from other siblings that they didn't belong and that they weren't a part of the family. We did see in the very early seasons, some of the boys picking on some of the girls, specifically Peyton and Garrison, some of the older kids rejecting some of Robin's kids, 
the younger kids all seemed to get along, like the girls, they were all buds, but there were challenges in the blending of the families. Robin's kids feel like all they wanted to do was belong and they didn't feel like they did belong. I feel sad for the kids after this episode because frankly, it seems like this whole situation and then you compound it with coming, going public. Imagine the amount of stress that put on the kids, both on both sides. Mary says that people in the family felt like this marriage was forced and that they didn't have a choice and they had to accept it and it was gonna happen regardless of what anyone wanted, which to me sounds like Cody is forcing this on everyone. And she says that forcing made people resistant and feeling like they had to accept something that they didn't want to accept. It had been 16 years since a new wife had been added to the family. That's a long time. The kids had always grown up as a unit with the three wives, minus the times that Janelle left. But even when Janelle left, they were still seeing each other when they were getting, like with babysitting during the day. And Janelle says, that the way that they handled it on their end was actually detrimental to their kids and probably made things worse for Robin's kids. Robin doesn't acknowledge that bringing in herself into this family would contribute to animosity. So what I noticed is that Robin says, my kids felt ganged up on. I told Christine and, and Rob, I told Christine and Janelle that these things were happening. I had to have conversations with them. Both Janelle and Christine acknowledge this, right? But she doesn't acknowledge that coming into a family would cause conflict, right? She just expected everyone was going to love her kids and there wouldn't be issues. She doesn't recognize that coming into an already established family with children was going to be hard. It wasn't gonna be easy. Janelle's explanation, I think, better explains why the kids reacted the way that they did. Children, we just kind of told them to just, just accept these kids. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like we really hurried and kind of put it together without really taking everybody's temperature. They were being told to, you know, sit down and shut up and to accept this family being merged in. And I feel like maybe we should have taken some time. Ultimately, we're, we learned that because the kids were forced to sit down and shut up and they weren't allowed to actually have an opinion or express their points of view or even talk to them, talk them through it. It created a lot of hostility. Couple that with this all happens while the show is debuting. Fame actually can cause trauma to children and children that don't understand fame can become traumatized by the amount of attention. Magnify that by the fact that they're being told that they have to behave on camera the best to the best of their behavior. They've got cameras in their faces while all of this is going along and they're pretending on the show that everything is perfect to try to make sure that everyone believes that polygamy is amazing. Come to find out that it was worse than what we saw on television and we only saw a glimpse of it on TV and that the kids weren't getting along and there was a lot of hurt feelings on all sides. It would be hard for the kids coming into the situation because they can't control what their mom is doing. And it would be hard for the kids that are there to have to accept a bunch of people they don't know and have their entire lives up, up, go through upheaval. On top of that, then they move to Las Vegas, then they move to Arizona. There's just so much trauma upon trauma upon trauma happening to these kids, all because of fame on the show and polygamy. And Robin taking no responsibility for her white role and playing games and playing favorite wife, top wife, which ultimately destroys the family. Cody destroys the family with his behavior, but the games within the wives creates such chaos and such animosity that I don't think they're able to heal from it. Plural marriage is a recipe for disaster and couple that with fame, it's going to implode. So in our next video, what we'll do is we'll talk about Cody and Robin's relationship and how Cody says that he wants to punch people in the mouth that talk negatively about Robin. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty uh, disturbing, to be honest. So Robin inserted herself for drama and called out for being way too involved in the catfishing. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye, guys.